Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be, obviously you can tell by the title, what I call a massive haul. I consider it to be a massive haul because I have tons of cute stuff that I'd like to share with you. I've been getting a lot of comments on my Instagram that um, a lot of you guys have been wanting to see. The shoes that I got from Lola Shootique, so which is why I decided to make this haul video specifically for that. I also have a coupon code for Lola Shootique, so I will leave it in the description box, as well as the style of the shoe that I'm going to show you. Um, Lola Shootique is very, very, very popular, and a lot of their shoes are in very high demand. So I apologize if you go on the website and you guys see the shoes that I bought today and you don't find it on the website because everybody always buys them um if you guys don't follow them on instagram i would go ahead and leave all of their information in the description box website as well as a coupon code so keep an eye out for that um i will be going to imats this weekend in la i'm also going to be going to hopefully fingers crossed imats new york so if you are in the new york area i will be in your city your state for imats imats new york i think is um in sometime in April. So I will keep you guys updated with that. Um, so like I said, I'm going to IMAT Saturday and Sunday and I needed to find something to wear. And I was passing by this boutique and then I found a dress and they have so much cute stuff and it's so freaking cheap. Like I was making it rain in there because like, I felt like I was buying so much shit. Well, not really so much shit, but like, you know when you go to Forever 21, sometimes their clothes or their shirts are like 30 bucks and you're just like 30 bucks for a shirt, like really? And I, you guys know I am obsessed with Forever 21. But as soon as I started like shopping at different little boutiques, I felt like I find better like unique pieces versus buying something at Forever 21 that everybody kind of has. I mean, I don't mind wearing things that everybody has because it's just like whatever. Um, everybody wears it different. But like I said, I will show you guys what I got as well as the shops and the stores that I got them from. I don't have coupon codes for the shops that I went to inside of the mall. Um, but their pricing is very, very good. Except for Aldo because like, I mean, I, Aldo has really good prices and their, their um, product is very, very um, good quality product. So, I mean, I can't complain about that. But really quickly, I just want to show you guys my nails. I put up a picture on Instagram. Um, and you guys, oh, what, what the, I lost one of my rings. Damn, that's what I hate about wearing knuckle rings. They literally disappear. Like I go wash my hands and it felt, I know where it went. I literally just put my clothes into wash and it probably fell in there. Anyways, that's probably like two fucking dollars. But anyway, so I got these rings at Aldo. They came with four rings. I actually got them today. So I was super excited to wear them. Um, I used to wear rings, but like I said, they always end up falling off and it's super annoying. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna lay off those rings because it literally ruins my day when I lose them like right now, but I'm trying to keep calm because I'm trying to record this video. Okay. Um, so it came with four of them. They were $10 for a pack of four. And then this ring I got from, um, Love for Bling, which is the same boutique that I got, um, this case from you guys i'm sure if you guys follow me on instagram you've seen what it looks like i get all my cases from there all the time they're very sturdy and they're so cute and they match my nails oh and my nails i got them done in upland next to Gio Monet, um which is where i got my cardigan and my dress and the heels that i was wearing um i have posted up an outfit of the day wearing this when i was in mexico and i loved it so much so i had to wear it today out here in the u.s because i already wore it in mexico so it don't count <laughs> So, um, yeah, I got them done there. I have never been to a nail salon that is like that one. Like, I was literally blown away. And I actually saw a couple of um, my followers there, and it was so funny to meet. You know, it's really cool to meet people that follow me on Instagram and watch my YouTube videos. I feel like we're long-lost friends, long-lost sisters. It's really, really cool. But anyways, the place of the nail salon is called 3D Nails. And when I walked in, me and my sister walked in, we were just like, whoa, like there was so many people in there. There was like at least 30 workers and then everybody was like sitting in chairs. And it was just, it was awkward even being in there. And I was just like, are you guys this busy all the time? And she was just like, this is one of our slow days. Like you actually came on a good day. And I was like, are you serious? Like they even had chairs outside for people to wait and they are ridiculously fast. They get the job done super duper fast but like really really good so i was in shock because usually like when a person rushes the nails they end up coming out fucked up and i don't like them or they take too much time and then it still comes out fucked up but this place was 
amazing and they're very very cheap this set was like 33 dollars plus like a five dollar tip so i ended up being like around 40 bucks but i was super duper duper satisfied with their service with everything besides like the long line but the long line literally goes by super duper fast so it's an upland you guys should definitely check them out i would totally recommend them and if you guys go um you guys can stop by gia monet they have tons of cute stuff there i always get a lot of my clothes there um but yeah, anyways, back to the haul. I seriously keep getting off track. So let's start off with Lola Shootique. So let me show you guys the cute bags that they give. Even when you order online, oh my God. Even when you order online, they send everything like in purple and in pink. And it's super duper cute. This is what the bag looks like. I love their logo and I love how they have like, you know, their Instagram, their social media because, you know, social media is on and popping right now. So let me show you guys the first pair that I got. So this is one of their new spring collection shoe, which I am totally obsessed with. You guys know I am obsessed with the mustard, like yellow. This would look so cute with some jeans. What I love about the pointed toe heels is that you can dress them up or dress them down like if you want to go out to like a club or anything like that you can wear a dress and then wear these or you can even wear a skirt with these or if you want to go casual but not too dressed up you can wear a white t-shirt some jeans cuff them up some capris and you are out and about so this is what the shoe looks like i believe the heel is like i guess it's like a four inch heel I used to wear like a lot of heels that have like the really big pump and those are more comfortable but they're kind of harder to walk in because they're way higher but after you wear these for a long time yeah the first couple of times you're going to get blisters underneath your your feet but I live in heels and I really don't care if my feet hurt I mean at the end of the day I'm like fuck I shouldn't have worn those heels but like your outfit doesn't look complete without high heels so like I said I pretty much live in heels so I walk in heels until I get blisters. Like if I didn't get blisters, then I guess it was a cool ass day. But for the most part, I always have blisters on my feet. It's kind of gross, but I mean, whatever. So this is a size six and a half. Um, sometimes their shoes vary. Before I used to think that I was a seven and a half, but most of the time, a lot of seven and a half don't fit me. But um, for the most part, I guess I'm a six and a half or seven. It just depends on the style of the shoe. I know a lot of people kind of get mad about like, shopping online but you guys can go ahead and stop at the store in la it's on wall street and they have such amazing service and you're able to see everything it's just a very good vibe i'm all about vibes when i go into stores if i feel like the, the um what is it called like the cashier is being a bitch like i will leave like i hate feeling like that but if i feel like you know i'm welcome and like i keep asking for different sizes because i'm that i'm that customer like hey can i get this size or never mind i want this size. oh no wait i want that shoe i'm that kind of person but it's just because like i'm paying for the product so i expect you know good service so they are amazing with their service and they're just so helpful and i love it because it's very trendy it's very up to date like when you walk in there all of the shoes are set up like left and right and then they have the ipad so you're able to see every shoe that they have online and you can check if it's in stock or if it's not in stock um and it's just i love it i freaking love it so i actually wore these yesterday um but i didn't get to take a picture of my outfit of the day because it was just kind of like a really weird day i went to buffalo wild wings and they had some shitty ass service the one over here at gallery at tyler they got me so fucked up like my fork smelled like ass like i was literally eating my wing like i was like i was like damn like it kind of stank i was like nah it's just it's just me you know the second time i fucking put that shit up i know that shit is stank like nasty i went with my um uh, my friend gilly and he smelled it and we were just like it like i literally lost my appetite i'm not one to complain like when we're out anywhere if i'm out like you know eating at a restaurant like i'm not the type of person to complain but it was just horrible service i think that they're like that because they just opened but i'm just gonna keep going to the one in mobile service is is way better there anyways oh also the one in ontario but anyways, so this is the next shoe that I got. I will go ahead and leave the style name of the shoe in the video. And if I don't, well, I probably will. But anyway, so this is a shoe. And it has like a little ankle, little brace. I talk so damn much that I lose my breath. So this is what it looks like. The heel, again, is about four inches. This one is in a size six because this style kind of 
runs in a bigger size. Um, so if you are a seven, get a six. If you're like an eight, you should get like a seven. But don't take my word for it because if it comes out wrong, I don't want you guys coming yelling at me or yelling at, you know, Lola. Lola and her boo. Um, okay, so yeah, this is what this looks like. And it has like, I, I guess this is like animal skin, snake skin. I don't know. Just kind of has that pattern. And then the inside is gold. And these are just super duper cute. You can never go wrong with the black heel, especially one that has like a little strap. And I guess like you can possibly like if you get tired of this or this starts wearing off because I used to have a pair of shoes that was like this. I cut this shit off. Like I literally cut this shit off. So if you cut it off, this is what it's going to look like. So it's like you getting two pairs in one. I go through my heels quick. Like my heels fucking fuck up all the time. That's why I'm always restocking up new heels because you never know. You never know. Okay, so this next pair that I got is also kind of similar to the same style. I absolutely freaking love these like these are so cute like once they're on like you can actually see like your skin in between because this is see-through and again this is like another four inch heel <clears throat> this is a size six and a half so if you're a seven get the six and a half i think it's just because i have really skinny feet so like if i get an eight it just looks wobbly and i love my shoes to be very fitted because if a crazy ass situation happens i could get in a fire or you know, suddenly you gotta run, there's a tsunami or something. Yo ass better be ready to walk, run in your heels because I don't know. You guys should just try running in heels. I can run in my high heels. I'll probably eat it once or twice, but I'll fucking get back up like so quick. Like, you won't even know I fell. Um, I haven't fell while wearing heels. Actually, I did. I take that back. I fell out for though, but it was because I was drunk, not the heels. Because it was because I was drunk. So this is what the shoe looks like. I love that the heels are very sturdy. I absolutely love that because like I said, I live in high heels, so I'm always constantly wearing them. And I've never had any problems with any of their shoes, which is why I am such a faithful customer to Lola Shootique. So like I said, um, I think I've already explained, this is what the heel looks like. It's a six and a half and they're fucking cute. I mean, what else can I say? They're cute and they're black. Black goes with everything. And I have a lot of like pointed toe shoe heels like that, but because they just, you can dress them up or you can dress them down. Because I don't like to go like, I don't like to show stop everywhere I go. You know, I only like to show stop sometimes. Okay, so this next pair of shoes, like seriously, I just want to take a moment of silence to like, I was immediately obsessed with this shoe. I wanted to get all three, but like, I couldn't because I already... I know I already have three. They come in white, black, and red. I was leaning towards the red because I already got two pairs of black heels. But I was like, I don't have any white pairs of shoes. So this is the heel. Like, can you guys, like, look. And this shoe is so sturdy. Like, super fucking sturdy. Like, this shoe is going to last me longer than those. Um, and again, this is a four-inch heel. It's a pointed toe. And this right here, little this little section right here is see-through so you can see your toes that kind of like be crunching up but they're still cute though like my sister was like oh your toes look all crunched up and i'm just like shush i've never owned a white pair of shoe before so i was just like oh, i gotta get them so um yeah this is what they look like <sighs> they smell so good i love shoes i have an obsession with shoes i have to stop because i have a problem so that is it for the shoes that i got from lola shooty i'm just gonna go ahead and get into the other stuff that i bought at the mall so i also when i went in to um pick up my phone case that um i custom ordered um like i said i will go ahead and leave all of her information as well as her instagram you guys can check it out her instagram has tons of pictures of all the orders that like she's done and you know all that stuff she bedazzles pretty much anything like i'm gonna go buy a pair of nikes so i'm gonna bedazzle some of my nikes so um while i was in there i picked out this little i don't even know what these are called they call it kimonos i don't know if i'm saying it wrong don't laugh at me if it if that's not the name so it's kind of like the style of the cardigan that i'm wearing it's like really big and like loose because i like to wear tighter clothing underneath so i kind of like to balance it out with some loose clothing underneath my tight clothing um just so i don't you know show off my goodies you know because you can't be showing off your goodies like every day um so this is what it looks like it is super cute it has like a little like lace sort of like 
crocheted like textured sort of thing you guys know i'm bad at explaining myself but y'all can see like i don't have to explain it but y'all can <laughs> y'all can see and it has like this sleeve so it kind of looks like it's like um how do I explain like a scarf in a way I don't know you guys have to see it when I have it on so I will go ahead and post up an outfit of the day when I wear this so you guys can see super cute I love the color it's gonna go great in the spring and probably look at this fucking video that I got from Lola okay so this is the store that I went into that I found like the really cheap clothing and they have so much cute stuff I was kind of in a hurry, but when I saw this dress in the display, I actually have a dress that looks identical to this um, that I wore last year for uh, Fame Expo, but it was a coral. But I have, well, I obviously I have it, but I saw this dress in the um, on the mannequin, and it looks amazing. Like I tried it on, and it looks so good. Like I seriously love it. I love red dresses. So the dress has like a little slit up here, um, actually not up here, down here. So you kind of have to be careful like when you walk because then your goodie is going to be showing and you don't want to be showing off your goodies. At least not during the day, like maybe at night with your boyfriend and stuff, you can show him your goodies, but you know, we can't be showing everybody. So it comes like, it's like a low cut right here. So you got to make sure you wear a good push-up bra, you know what I'm saying? And it's just super duper cute. I love the sleeves and I just... I love this dress. Like, I am so obsessed. And guess how much it was. Like, just take a guess. Take a fucking guess. And this was at the mall. You know, everybody loves to overprice things, items in, in their boutiques. But I think this store is new. If you guys are in the Riverside area, I don't know if you guys remember that store is called BB. It used to be there. It's, like, right in front of Mika Bella, like, on the side. It's called Inspire. So that's what, the, that's what the, like, the boutique is called. And this dress was only $13. $13 like for real so I was in shock when I saw the price I was expecting it to be like 30 bucks I was still gonna buy it because it was a really cute dress and I'm really desperate to find something to wear for IMF so if you guys see my IMF I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna be, gonna be wearing excuse me and then my friend Gilly pointed this out to me when he saw it this is super duper cute I saw this on a mannequin so it's like a little top like a coral top this is perfect for the spring or for the summer and it has like a cross on the back so you can't really wear a bra with this but i'm most likely gonna wear a bra with this because this is like so see-through like you can see everything in there but i don't know what kind of bra i'm gonna wear because i don't want to look you know disgusting wearing a bra underneath and then this is like the little shorts that it comes i'm usually like not for like pieces like this where it comes with the shorts and the top at the same time because I just feel like it looks kind of awkward. But seriously, this is the cutest thing ever. Like super duper duper cute. And it's the color of like, you know, I love corals like this. This is my favorite. I feel like it kind of brings out my skin tone. So this was $15.50. So this is a little bit more than the actual dress. But they're both seriously so fucking cute. So how many times did I say cute in that last video? I need to start making up another word because I, that word is so burnt out. And then I also found these. So these are a little bit see-through, but again, just go ahead and wear some black underwear or something. This is black, so you can get away with this. Um, so they are like, I don't even know how to explain these jeans. They're high-waisted and they're capris. So this would look so cute with those white heels that, that I just showed you guys from Lola Shootique or some tan ones. Honestly, this will look cute with any heels that you wear. So this is high-waisted and it has pockets in the back. And I love that they're loose fitting, but at the same time kind of accentuates like the waist because of the, you know, high waistline. And these were $11. So these were super cute. I loved them. Everything I tried on in the store looked amazing. I was very, very satisfied. And then I got this dress. It's like a little turtleneck dress. I love dresses like this. I love tops and dresses like this. And it's pretty long. And it just fits so good. Like when I tried on, it fit me perfectly. And this one was $13. So that one was a good price too. And they had a white one in that same style. I guess it's like a white, like an off-white. So this is what it looks like. What I 
hate about it is that it's see-through so you can see the bra and you can see her nalgas like literally showing like when i tried it on like it was like underwear and then nalgas and i was just like fuck like i love this though so i think i'm gonna try to find like i don't even know like do you guys know what I could wear underneath this? Like maybe a nude colored bra. I feel like a nude colored bra wouldn't look as bad and wouldn't look as see-through. But it's just like, what do I do about the butt part? Like, I don't know. Like, tell me if you guys have any ideas because I'm dying to wear this. This one I won't be wearing at mats because they'll probably kick me out. <laughs> and then I also got this little crop top thing to wear with the, um, the little, like, cargo pants i guess the little black pants that i got so this is what this looks like and this one's cute but it has like the little opening on the side and i know i'm gonna have to wear a bra underneath this but i don't know what kind of bra i think i'll probably wear like a little bandeau or something but yeah that's that and then i also went to aldo like i was gonna buy a michael kors bag when i went into nordstrom's and I really liked this navy blue bag. It kind of looks similar to my little black bag that I have. But it was like $325 for a plain ass Michael Kors bag. And I was just like, fuck that. Like, I seriously cannot be dealing with that. Like, so anytime I go into Aldo, they literally have the cutest purses ever. I know you guys have seen that mustard yellow, that really bright yellow purse that I have. And I just wanted to get another one. So I went in, into Aldo. And this one was... Um, this one was this one was fifty five dollars. So I mean, compared comparing fifty five dollars to three hundred and fifty dollars or three hundred and twenty five dollars, I'd rather go for the for this one and then buy some other shit. So, and I actually love this one better than I do the Michael Kors one. Um, it's bigger and it's just so much cuter. I love this color. I love big bags. Like I love colors like this because, like I said, you can dress it up or dress it down, and it pretty much goes with anything. Like it goes with this outfit that I'm wearing too. And I just, uh, I love it. Like, look at the little, like, gold piece that it has right here. And it just, oh, did the lighting just change? That's kind of weird. That's scary because I'm home alone right now. And then, like I said, I also got the rings. And while I was leaving, oh, and a lot of you guys have been asking where I got my watch. This is also from Aldo. I think it was like 30 bucks. And it came with like the, the changing strap so you can change the colored strap. It came with, oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. I'm like dropping all my jewelry just to show you guys. So this is the color that it came with. It came with this burgundy color, which is one that I also wear. But for the most part, I always wear like the beige. I love the beige colors like that. And then it came with like a blue one, which I never wear. I actually want to do my nails this color. So I think I'll probably, when I go back, I'll do this color. I'll just do all of that plain color. And you know why I want to do this color? Because fucking Kylie put up a picture wearing it. That girl, fuck, she sets up so many trends. Like if she if she shaved her head bald, I swear to God, like everybody would shave their head bald because she is just, she's a shit. I love the Kardashians. I love Kim. I love Chloe. I love all of them. Like I don't give a fuck about what anybody says. Like if you hate Kim Kardashian or if you hate the Kardashian, like it says a lot about you. Like I cannot fuck with people like you because regardless if she's fake, or if she got fake titties or she got a fake ass. She looks fucking good. Like, you know if you had the money and you shit money like they do, you would be on and popping and you would be getting all kinds of surgery done. So don't sit here and tell me that you wouldn't. I just, ugh, I hate talking about it because I always end up in getting in fights with other people. So I'm just going to shut the fuck up already. And it comes with a great one. I don't know if I've already said that. But I don't know if they have it still on the website. I got, I got the watch a couple of months ago. Um, but what was I going with this story? Oh, yeah, but what I'm about to show you guys So I asked a girl while I was in there because they had like a 30% off or whatever I was like, do you guys have any watches? And she's like, yeah, actually we have one right there And it was the last one and I don't own any black watches So I found this one. It's so cute because I usually black watches look too manly But I don't really care. I'll still wear it But this one has diamonds all around the watch thing I don't even use watches to tell time to be honest just gonna be really really honest with you guys i just use it as an accessory and i don't really give a fuck because it looks cute um i actually tried it on after i bought it and it doesn't fit me so i'm just gonna have to go take it to get some of those things like taken off so i gotta go do that and i love it this one was 
let me check if she even gave me the discount she was like oh it's 30 percent off so i was like okay but regular price okay oh okay so it was 34.98 without tax which is a good price because watches can be expensive like if you buy a nixon watch you probably like two to three hundred maybe even more i actually want to get a burberry watch but those are like eight hundred dollars they're so cute though but i like any kinds of watches like i like expensive watches i like cheap watches as long as they look cute i really don't care how much they cost so it took off ten dollars and 49 cents so this ended up being 24.98 which is very good because I've been wearing this watch all the time. I know you guys have seen my posts. I wear this watch all the time. Or my Nixon. Or um, this other one that I have. So that's cute. And then I went to MAC because I had to pick up a couple of things. Because I have a wedding that I have to do on Saturday. And I you know, I just want to make sure I'm prepared. So I got an NC20 Pro Longwear. Um, I always wear this to highlight on myself and on my clients. I am an NC25, so this is perfect to highlight. Um, so I was recommended to use this by my good friend Gilly. Um, I will go ahead and leave his information. I'm sure I've already mentioned him to you guys in a past video, but he does very, very, very good makeup. So he recommended for me to use this on my clients. So of course I'm going to trust him to use this, but I don't know if this is like for oily skin or for um, people... People that have dry skin so let me just test this out to see what this feels like i mean it feels very silky and very moisturizing um but it just depends how it settles into the skin oh it feels good it doesn't feel too moisturizing but it doesn't feel not too moisturizing what the fuck did i just say like it's right in between not too oily not too dry so this would be something that you could wear for all types of skin. Um, if you have oily skin and you hate to look dewy, I would recommend to just use a Fix Plus or just mix a little bit of the strobe cream with the Fix Plus to kind of dilute it. And then I also got this blush. This is such a gorgeous blush. This one's called Spring Sheen. I am such a fan of shimmer blushes that kind of look like a blush, but at the same time like has shimmer and at the same time looks like a bronzer, and at the same time looks peachy. So those are the types of blushes that I personally like to wear because I don't really wear too much blush, and if I do, with something like this. So you guys should definitely check this out. This is going to be such a pretty color for the spring and for the summer, or for spring, summer, winter, and fall, you know? I don't really care if it's spring or whatever. I do all different kinds of makeup. I don't really like to stick to trends, but I guess it's, it's cool, you know, to stick to trends, I guess. I guess. And then I also got a primer. Um, I have been using the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which is amazing. But I wanted to give um, MAC a try for their primers because I've never used any of their primers. Um, so let me see what this looks like. Oh, this doesn't... Ugh. It kind of smells gross. Well, it doesn't really have that like silicone-ish feel to it. But it feels very slippery, so it'll be able to fill in, you know, any pores or any fine lines. So this feels pretty good, and this one comes with one fluid ounce. So I don't know how much comes in the other one, but I mean, it feels pretty good. I'll let you guys know how it works. Um, so that completes this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thumbs it up and don't forget to subscribe and go ahead and leave all of your comments in like down below even if they're negative I want to hear what you guys like what you guys don't like what kinds of videos you would like to see in the future and Yeah, I really hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye